what we had intended was simply to go to Charles Jaco for uh, an update about what was happening in Kuwait City this morning. We want to roll the video uh, right before he was supposed to go on the air, and uh, you'll see what happened as he was preparing to do a live report uh, to us back here in Atlanta. Can we roll that now? Hey, could somebody please put that... Ah, Jesus Christ! Wow! Uh, CNN's Carl Rochelle is, is here with me, just came up. Uh, Carl, I know we can't be very specific given these restrictions, but uh, within those parameters, what did you see? Well, what I saw, I, I didn't see anything here. I looked very, almost straight above us. There is a vapor trail coming from my right to my left, and there's a cloud of uh, something. It looks like it might have been an explosion, a cloud. Uh, a white say He's uh, putting on a gas mask. There hasn't been any gas dropped here, that we could tell. Uh, you smell anything? No. Oh. You, probably, you may smell some of the fumes from uh, a, uh, a missile exhaust going off. The missile is used a rocket a cordite, some sort of burning. And we just heard a little thump just then. But uh, I have to apologize for that. I, I caught a whiff of something you felt momentarily uh, dizzy. You're more experienced <laughs> military affairs than I am, but it might have been a little... Um, gas from the uh, from the rocket exhaust. There well, apparently wasn't anything. A lot of people have the respirators on just in case. And, and uh, again, you uh, you run to get down here. You, uh, in my case, uh, jumped out of bed, uh, hearing the air raid warning go on. You run down three flights of stairs to get out of here. It's probably a hundred yards. You hyperventilate a little bit, yeah. and you're sound sound bite with Oakley. Thirty seconds. It's impossible. Oh. Shit. Ah! <laughs> it's inside me. <laughs> so laugh. CNN's Brent Sadler has the story. I think it's inside. 